presence of God, the glory of God, can make a man, it can affect even your physical body, the glory of God, your physical body. It can keep you young, fresh. This is not about money. It's not about prosperity. It's the glory of God. The glory of God can alter you. It can bring you into an atmosphere. This is not just power you invoke and prime. No, no. It's an atmosphere. You live there. You dwell there. You speak from there. You judge things from there. Moses said, show me your glory. God said, no man will see my glory and leave. He said, however, I will let my goodness pass by you. And he covered Moses' eyes. And the Bible says he stepped and Moses saw eternity pass. I'm very disturbed at how easily people can give up God's presence to take something that can be found when His presence is treasured. What are you looking for? Fame? Money? Power? Charisma? Ministry? Anointing? Intelligence? You see, I'm telling you, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we've lost the art of God's presence. That you are praying. Prayer is not the same as the presence of God. Many people think that you are praying in tongues. Have you not seen people who pray week after week, every day? But there are certain people, when they step in, it's an atmosphere. 